Okay, hello people, what's up? This is NHL Engineering. Uh, today I'm going to be, this is uh, video one of learning Objective-C. Today we're going to be going over some of the basics of Objective-C. Um, so it'll probably be like 50 videos or more or maybe less. And by the end of it, you'll have a really good knowledge of Objective-C and you'll be well on your way to making great iPhone, iPad, or iPod apps. Uh, so yeah we can get started and probably after these series are finished I might do I'm probably gonna do creating iPhone apps so integrating everything that you know into making an actual iPhone app well we'll be making programs here but we're making like full scale ones probably so um you can program Objective-C on Mac, Linux, or Windows but you can only get Xcode on Mac so that's what I'm gonna be dealing with if you have uh, Windows you're gonna have to find another program so you can download Xcode from developer.apple.com. You can download Xcode for uh, if you're for free if you're a developer, or for 4.99 on the app store, on the Mac App Store. You can download Xcode 3 for free. Personally, I think Xcode 3 is better than Xcode 4. I've Xcode 4, but don't worry, you'll still be able to learn. So let's open this up. Um, wait for that to load. I have done some things in Paint, so after or done at the end of this video, I'm gonna put that in the video, so you'll be be able to write down and understand some of the concepts. So let's open up Xcode. It's being really slow. I'm sorry. Hold on. Okay, I'm sorry about that. It's really, really being weird. Okay, so Xcode finally opened up. As my computer is being really weird, so you're gonna go to Mac OS X, click on Application, and click on Command Line Tool. Go, choose that. The type is gonna be Foundation, and the product name you can name it whatever you like. I'm just going to do Objective C. This is tr tutorials are probably going to be in order, so if you were watching video 5 and you haven't watched video 3, you probably might not understand video 5 because um, because it, it's going to go in order of uh, learning everything. So you can put stuff together. And unless you're like professional, I don't know. Um, so where we're going to be working in is main.m. So click on that. Uh, here you see that Apple has already typed in uh, a, some code that basically it's a it's a program that says hello world. Uh, so I guess we'll jump right in and we'll start. So I'll start from the top. Import foundation dot foundation dot h. You don't really have to worry about what that means, but I'm going to try to explain what that does. Uh, you're importing this from the framework foundation. There's lots of frameworks. I would think as a framework is like a plugin. It's like instead of you having to write some of the code, it it already puts it in there just by importing it. Such as there's a MapKit framework. There's an audio framework. MapKit's for making Mac apps. Uh, sorry, Map apps with like Google Maps and like audios for like a soundboard if you want it. So instead of the uh, instead of the uh, the developer having to type all that code, it puts it puts it in, so you can uh, take much less time. Okay, int main. What's int mean? Int means integer, and this is basically saying we're um, expecting a return value that's an in integer, and you can see down here that the return is zero. This basically means when you see return zero, and you'll see it, the program exited, exited with, with, uh, with code zero. Uh, it means it succeeded basically. So return zero means it, it, it tells the pro, sorry, so tells the program whether it succeeded or not. And main means it's basically a starting point of the whole application. Everything from here on that starts it off and int arc gc don't worry about that right now it's just some uh, argument 
Okay. So your your um your code goes in in here. So your statements and stuff in between the curly brackets. Um, the first line is NS auto release pool pool NS auto release pool lock in it. So what does that mean? This is, it might look scary, but it's not. This basically means this little uh, star is a pointer. We're calling the NS auto release pool pool, and we we're renaming this pool. So everything in here is stored in this this um, word. So we're not going to get really into it, and then we're allocating it and initializing it here. Basically, what this does is it asks the uh, it asks for some memory. It's like it, it's asking, "Hey, we need some. We need to share some memory. We need it for this program." And then here's our real program, the NS log at hello world. NS log, or you can use printf, basically means display some text. And at hello world, basically basically is the text. So at that's just what you put there. And then everything in the quotation marks you can change. You can do blah, 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 whatever. I spelled that wrong. And it would print whatever you said in there. And then pool drain. That means, okay, we're done with the with the memory. You can have it back. And then the return zero, uh, that tells you if the program succeeded. So let's run this. Build succeeded. And see, hello, blah, 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 world. But say you wanted two separate lines. Well, that's easy. You would do space, backwards slash n. Run that. And now, it says hello, blah, blah, blah. And then on the next line, blah, 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 world. So wherever you put that n, it splits it up and puts it on the next line. And the computer recognizes that, oh, you want to go to the next line. And once you're done with your um, your statements and arguments, um, you you always finish it off with a semicolon. That means you're done talking to it. And what does this mean? This is a comment. It's two forward slashes. Um, this is a one-line comment. So basically, the program doesn't even it doesn't see it. This is great for taking notes. I know I spelled that wrong. So you can you can say what uh, if it's a really big program you can put little notes and say what different things do, and the program doesn't. You could write thousand thousands of lines of this and it would not affect the program at all. But say you wanted multiple lines. This is one line. You would do slash forward slash uh, star and you could your stuff in there and then star oops star forward slash. And ignores, and so that's a multi-line, uh, a multi-line comment, and so yeah, so that was basically the introduction. I know it's a little long. The next ones are gonna be much shorter and better and easier to understand. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.